on this episode of Imagine, Create, Inspire. In the very first lesson, I, I try to give my uh, musical philosophy, which is that music is simply A through G and it repeats. Uh, the expression of A through G is what creates genres. And I always give the example of uh, the information available for John Mayer to solo in E minor is no different than the information available for Metallica to improvise in E minor, yet you think of two different things. You are listening to Imagine, Create, Inspire, the podcast. Join host Bruce Andrews in conversations with creatives. Every artist has a story and the struggle is real to stay inspired and in the flow. Join in the conversation by leaving us your comments and thanks for listening. Hey everybody, welcome back to Imagine, Create, and Inspire. And you know, we're, the theme of this podcast is defined by our motto at the Shelby County Arts Council, three words in a very deliberate sequential order. Imagine, create, and inspire. Imagination leads to creation. Creation leads to inspiration. And inspiration, when you properly apply it, y'all, produces hope. And hope is a commodity. Hope is fuel for the human soul. And that's why I think, we think, that creating art, creating music is not a second tier thing. It's essential. It's it's like critical mass. It's not a it's not a trivial activity. Uh, and inspiring somebody to their imagination is the opposite of stagnation. You know, nothing comes out of a stagnant pool, right? No good idea. So, uh, I know that uh, everybody out there probably remembers their favorite teacher. You know, and so in this case, uh, I'm fortunate here at the Arts Council to be surrounded by some uber-talented individuals, not the least of which is my friend William Yarborough. William, thanks. Yeah. Yes, sir. Appreciate thanks for you having being us. here, brother. I'll start here, man. Nobody works harder than you do on your craft. Well, thank you for observing that. I, I, I mean, think that... What's uh, your philosophy in that, man? Well, I think uh, just... I think there's always something to be learned. And uh, I'm into so many different genres of music. Uh, I get asked all the time about, you know, do I, have I heard of this band or that band? I know a lot of different... Uh, bands from those genres but not always those specific people but in that it's like there's so much to consume uh you can always switch it up you know playing country is a lot different than playing jazz so you feel like somebody's got like a genre bias might be a little bit they might just be limited themselves unnecessarily maybe but at the same time i, I believe that it, you know if, if it uh if it doesn't feel natural you know don't do it or if it's not fun don't do it so Write you know that down. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so where did you get your work ethic from, man? I don't know. I, I think, well, I'll say, you know, I, I before guitar, I played horns in school um, six years or so prior to even seeing a guitar in my face for the first time. And uh, the first working band I, I began to play with, the, uh, the guy who kind of got me involved with it, he was trying to stop playing trumpet. That was what he predominantly played, and he wanted to learn how to play bass. And I had played bass at church at the time. That was where we met. But uh, I think through him, because he would always be shoving these smooth jazz CDs in, in my face <laughs> and, you know, basically just saying, learn what you can learn from them. But at the same time, it was like a, you know, clockwork routine. He wanted to get together. So it's kind of like, I got to be prepared for this guy. And then... You remember the guy's name? Yeah, Willie Jennings. <laughs> you never forget those kind yeah, of guys. No. Uh, and in different ways, he was honestly like the dad I never had. And, uh, yeah, he uh, definitely instilled that in me. And things like rehearsal, uh, I, I remember hearing maybe in rehearsal one day. And I don't recall that it was directed towards me, but, um, you know, rehearsal is the time to run through, not learn the songs. So little things like that, showing up prepared. Yeah, is, right. Is, is the key. Right, man. Well, you know, and so in the same way that you, uh, I'll go ahead and set this up and then we'll backtrack a little bit. In sure. the same way that you remember that teacher who was significant to you and set the tone for you, because mm -hmm. I, I don't know anybody who practices harder than you do. I happen to be on the same hall as William at least yeah. two days a week. And every yeah. time I walk by the window, I don't dare knock on the door because William's in here just, yeah. gr just grinding. Yeah. So it, uh, but you had the, uh, I'd say the uh, the honor and privilege of teaching a lot of students, and mm -hmm. uh, and I see them come in your door and out of your door. At least when you're here, yep. they're all shapes and sizes. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and I remember this this girl right here, Leah Slaughter. Yeah, 
when she was uh, coming into her class to teach from you, to take from you. And yeah. She was, I don't know, how old were you, Leah? Uh, I think I was like eight or nine. Eight or nine years old. Really? All I remember is you're about this high. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I started when I was seven, but I started with a different teacher yeah. before he retired. So so uh, you've been taking from William then, better part of, on and off, better part of six or seven years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been a while. And so uh, <laughs> the reason I thought this podcast might be, uh, the approach might be interesting, at least conversationally, is because, uh, you know, uh, one, of the, one of the things you want to do as a... Um, well, kind of, let me back up. Kind of the tone of the podcast is it's difficult, man, as an artist, and you know it better than anybody because you're a full-time artist, to stay in the creative flow. I mean, you got so many impediments, you know, not sure. the least of which is just trying to live, make a living, and 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 uh, and 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 then do what you love at the same time. I mean, it's a, it's a huge hurdle, and, and there's a ton of people that that are artists who would know what that's like. So uh, you you've managed to uh, uh, teach steadily that whole time. Mm-hmm. So it. Uh, um, is, has it been hard, man? Um, quite honestly, I, I've kind of backed down the the number of students that I've, I was uh, previously teaching, and uh, that's helped. I, I'll say before when I was, you know, teaching literally between thirty and forty a week, uh, and I would play on Friday or Saturday, if not both, and then I play at two churches on Sunday. Like I have, I'd have a guitar in my hands whether I wanted to or not. I just had to to get through the day. Um, and that honestly, that definitely dumbed it down. Um, but at the same time, it didn't, uh, but at the same time, I, I think playing live, um, I was still, you know, expressing myself. Um, uh, but at the same time, you know, playing cover music, like most of those were, it, it gets a little, uh, melancholy, you know, same old same. Um, but yeah. I, I think time in between is just like you think about a, a artist putting out albums. You know, having some downtime is what usually leads to you being creative. When you're busy, 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 it's hard to do that. So uh, you gotta at some point make time for yourself. <laughs> yeah, man. Sp- sp- and you do a good job of sort of uh, inviting people in to watch that time for yourself. Yeah. So if you're not, when we run this podcast, we'll run your Instagram handle and all that. So if you guys are not following William on Instagram. And you're interested in the guitar, you're missing out, dude. I mean, this guy plays with a ton of energy, even when he's by himself, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the truth. So, uh, kind of the story here, though, is that how uh, I guess as a teacher, you know, mm-hmm. with all these different students, you're looking for the ones that kind of have a creative breakthrough. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, in in the very first lesson, I, I try to give my uh, musical philosophy, which is that music is simply A through G, and it repeats. Uh, the expression of A through G is what creates genres, and I always give the example of uh, the information available for John Mayer. Uh-oh. Uh, for John Mayer to solo in E minor is no different than the information available for Metallica to improvise in E minor. Yet, you think of two different things. Um, Mark that. Yeah, and yeah. and also with that, the epitome to me of being a artist is creation. Uh, at the end of the day. It, People don't. It seems like people can't like say it, but it's like you you're really wanting to express yourself, even if you know you're coming in saying you want to learn X Y Z song, and I'm telling you, uh, you know, this is the way of playing music. Like I'm more interested in showing you that versus a song. But even in that song, it's like you're looking to express yourself through playing that song. So at the end of the day, you're t- uh, you know, creation yeah, man. Is, is, I mean, that's that that definitely mark that down. We'll run yeah. that as a, as a, a preview to this uh, this <laughs> podcast. That's yeah. that, that's well put, dude. Yeah. I mean, like Thelonious Monk said, well, I think he said a genius is the one that becomes most like himself, mm-hmm. meaning through the process of music and the uh, process of elimination and practice and all that stuff and playing with other people, you become most like yourself. Exactly. And uh, generally speaking, or side note, uh, maybe uh, many people aren't aware. I'm honestly a self-taught guitar player. I didn't I didn't have a teacher. Uh, telling me what to do or giving me exercises to do. I would just turn on records and figure out as much as I could. And those songs that I did well, well, I just keep doing them over and over and over and kept getting better and just started observing the patterns. Uh, you know, when I moved to these frets, it makes sense. So let's just do that again. And put but yeah, it in even though order. you're self-taught, I've heard you teach a bit. I mm-hmm. mean, you're, you, 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 you're real hard on, uh, and I use that term loosely, <laughs> uh, uh, big on mm-hmm. but people learning the scales 
and mode modalities and stuff like that. Yeah, so you, you you've learned them by rote. Yeah, and so amidst being self-taught, you know, you get around other musicians who do know better than you, and you you know start to pick up on things. And that was, I would say, as far as my theory knowledge, that was how I picked it up. And uh, man, I can recall there was one gig. It was like a church gig, and collectively the band didn't really know the music very well. And the piano player, who was like the the MD, he just kept like throwing up numbers, and I could tell everybody else knew what was going on, but I didn't know what was going on. And again, through more theory, now I know they're just trying to they're telling you the chord inside of the scale. If it's the four chord, Leah, what's the four chord? Is it major or minor? What do I, I put know. on a small? <laughs> <laughs> He's always quizzing me on this, and I never do. Good. That's a, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's a, that's a, a, you never stop, dude. I right. love it. I love that you did it in that format. Yeah, because I know you know. You just couldn't recall it exactly. Moment, right? She wasn't expecting right. that question. Yeah, yeah, that's it right there. I knew just a second ago. Yeah, but I don't know anymore. Knew it when I came in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, I forgot the question, but yeah. Well, well I mean, uh, uh, I I think we we started with sort, sort of the. How does I mean the general conversation to me is how does somebody progress from being a musician to an artist, and, uh-huh. then, and then maybe through the process of teaching, like you've been teaching Leah for a long time, you yeah. identify in your own roster an artist, yeah, or a so, potential artist. So I I feel like going back to being uh, self taught, um, you know, it was an interest from the very get go. I say an interest, yeah. An interest to just make up stuff and just explore the the instrument for what it was. And uh, actually, I did kind of how I started writing songs was I uh, had poems. I used to write poetry all the time. And uh, then I had, you know, little riffs I made up. And then one day I just kind of put them together. I tried to and eventually it got better and better. But I think at the end of the day, generally speaking, you got to want it. Like I, I've seeing the you know the students whose parents are just throwing them in there to try to you know get them to do something and then i've had students like leah like to me leah has been a a creator from the the time i met her i, I don't really recall your eight-year-old songs but <laughs> I, I, I i remember early on she you know was always making stuff up and uh that that's something that i periodically try to get my students to do just to make up a, a musical composition um sometimes it sticks with them sometimes it doesn't but uh at the end of the day i, I try hey, to encourage man, it you, you turn you turn on their creative switch yeah. i mean uh, we can't i mean the three of us here are fortunate to be around a lot of creative people mm-hmm. uh, like your family is very supportive yeah. of, of william teaching and other musicians as well but i mean there's a lot of folks were surrounded by they 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 just don't do a good job accessing their imagination Mm -hmm. and as a result they have pretty destitute dead-end thinking and so um getting to flipping that switch in somebody is 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 uh essential yeah it's awesome yeah and uh so and now in leah's case uh you guys have sort of morphed your lessons over the years from being just guitar lessons to hey we're making song we're we're doing songwriting to hey what what's up we're writing a song together yeah that kind of thing right How'd that go, Leah? Um, I mean, how, how, how'd that, did you just bring some lyrics to the table at the one guitar lesson or something? Well, it depends. It depends, because sometimes it starts off, we just make up chords. So it starts with the progression. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm like, I need to write a song. And he's like, well, how do you and feel? And so from the progression, <laughs> do you feel a melody then and then write yes. song, write lyrics into the melody? Most of the time, and yeah. if sometimes I'll change it or he'll change it around like the chords to fit my melody or yeah. the melody to fit the chords. So because of his experience, he might know a bridge or something to keep your song from being too Yes, he same. always adds good chords yeah. that add to the song. And um, most of the time what happens is, if we, is we come up with a good chord progression and I come up with a melody to go with it and then I go home and like write words. That's it. awesome. And then I'll refine it or something yeah. when she brings it back. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's beautiful. I mean, uh, I mean, really, lately, uh, I wanted to do this because, I mean, I'm walking up and down the hall and I hear a song, like you're going to do a song at the end of this little podcast, and, they, and they're just, uh, you know, I'm actually thinking, did I hear that on the radio? <laughs> Which is like a, like a great compliment because yeah. I'm like, uh, are they covering something or is that an original song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. I think, you know, in that, that – uh, 
you, you know, this kind of thing where you got really fresh ideas and then you're dealing with a guy who's like got this encyclopedia of progressions in his head. Yes. It's like, it's a, it's like, like a potentially dynamite combination. Yeah. I, I was just having the thought uh, uh, about the creation thing. The other facet of Leah, too. Uh, did you take vocal lessons if, if she didn't? Did you take vocal lessons? I took them for like a little a year when I was like. 10 or something okay mm-hmm. but between like she's always even as a little eight-year-old had a, a really nice sounding voice and uh she also plays piano so uh, musically speaking Leah is also kind of multifaceted like myself you know I, I played other things besides guitar still play other things besides guitar but that's my main yeah thing. that's a, a little shout out to the shelby county arts council yeah. i mean we've been fortunate enough to have william around uh, a couple of days a week over the years at least. And then I think you took piano from Ellen. And Yeah, I and, still take piano. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so a little shout out to Ellen here at the Shelby County Arts Council. But wherever you take music uh, or uh, or find some, uh, this is maybe a good time to, before you play your tune to talk about, I mean, there's a perception out there that, um, and and it's, a, it's got some merit that you can just learn from YouTube. But um, you can see from this product right here, the, y- y'all's relationship um, as, as a teacher, student, then now singer, songwriter, uh, team of sorts, um, this wouldn't have happened if it had been strictly online. No. You, just, you can't YouTube search this. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's just a three-dimensional connection where you can read other, somebody else's humanness and their intuition yeah. and their vibe and, their, and they're just – and it just – uh, it's not like you can't create over the internet. Now I'm not you know, anybody that's out there that's that's uh, all about that. Then that that's cool. There are other modalities and other ways to do things, but I just no substitute for yeah, that's true. humanity. Also, I'd probably quit guitar because I wouldn't like it. <laughs> 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 so you're <laughs> saying if you need accountability. You need to come in and, and for William to go, what's the four chord? And you go, oh, <laughs> yes, that's exactly <laughs> right. You need that. <laughs> yeah, I need it too. We all need it. It's, it's some kind of accountability really to advance that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, I'm going to get you guys to do a song um, okay. and for, for us and uh, as an example of what we're talking about. But you, you want to talk about how this particular song evolved as an introduction to it? Um, I'm trying to remember. Some boy broke her heart or something. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so, not it, about that's me. That's age old, man. It never gets old. But um, it's about, I think, I'm not sure if we came up with these chords together or not, but I remember writing the words mostly because I remember thinking, um, like seeing my friends and people around me, this happens over and over again with high school girls, especially that like there's a guy that they really like, but he's a bad boy. Like he's not a good guy and they know he's not that good of a guy, but they really like him and they think they can change him and then they they go through <laughs> this whole the yes they get <laughs> go through this whole thing and then they always come out the other end like heartbroken never the same and it's happened to so many people and the guy might be a good guy but he's just makes all these bad decisions and so, <laughs> so like I saw that happen a lot, and so I wrote a song about it. And yeah, all my friends really like the song. <laughs> you can do the Taylor Swift slam people in public thing. Yeah. That. yeah, I got you, I got you absolutely. Well, uh, uh, before you do your song, I'll I'll make an appeal. I mean, um, William is a um, is a part of the gig economy. I'll just say that. And, you know, uh, the gig economy became a, a highly... Don't you come for me, Arya. Uh, <laughs> highly... Yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll hide his guitars like <laughs> Willie Nelson. Yeah, um, you know, it's a, um, it, it was shut down during, the, during COVID for yeah. all intents and purposes. And then, uh, and then, of course, we're just ramping back up. So you guys check out the handle in this podcast, follow William, take guitar lessons, Hire William. Hire people like William. I mean, you know, if you if you're sitting at home and you got you a party rocking in your in your house somewhere, I mean, don't play the stereo. Get a live musician. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're out there. You can hire them, and they're there's, they're just. It's fair to say, and that's part of the theme theme of this podcast is that that uh, there are some uber talented, outrageously talented musicians. We're surrounded by them in this town. 
uh, and like William, who are not necessarily famous, at least not nationally, who uh, who you can hire them, and there's nobody that would play better. So you you, you need to check it out. And uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to this tune. So you guys uh, strap your guitars on, and uh, and give us a sample of what you've been working on. Absolutely. All right, All right brother. <laughs>
Hey, brother, that, that was great, man. That was an awesome song. Thank you. I, Thank you. I, I super enjoyed it. And uh, look, so let's reiterate. Uh, what is your Instagram handle or the ways you prefer people to follow you? Yeah, uh, well, I've got like 10 pages, but probably the easiest, most direct would be uh, T O O W A Y 85, two way 85. And you can find those. And when you go pages. to that handle, I'll say this as well, because I didn't brag on that yet. Uh. <laughs> William's a, let's see, MMA fighter. Uh, <laughs> slash kickboxer slash um, excellent photographer slash um, motocross yeah. uh, <laughs> photographer and yeah. ride sometimes. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Soon, uh, a dad. Uh, let's see, what else are you? I mean, he don't he don't drive NASCAR yet, but but been thinking yet. about it. Yeah. They're kind of expensive <laughs> cars. <laughs> <laughs> so. Follow William and Leah, yeah. and uh, Leah. Is there a way they can they can find out about you as you progress as a songwriter? Um, well, right now my Instagram doesn't have a ton of music stuff on it right now, but I'm planning on as more music stuff happens in my life to post <laughs> it. So you can follow me at Leah dot Slaughter thirty three, and it's L E A H dot S L A U G H T E R thirty three. Got it down like a pro. Yes. Yeah. All right. Y'all, y'all join us next time on Imagine, Create, and Inspire. Thanks for listening to Imagine, Create, Inspire, the podcast. For more information on the Shelby County Arts Council, please visit www.shelbycountyartscouncil.com.